In this video, we will know how to import and repair a CAD geometry. We will know delete untrimmed surfaces, close trim, close missing surfaces, set up the cleanup tolerances, equivalent free edges, delete duplicate surfaces. So the benefits of repairing the geometry are that it is help in correcting any errors, creating the simplified geometry, meshing the part in all at once. It ensures a proper connectivity of the mesh and obtaining a desirable mesh and quality. So we go to the software. In the software, I open the part, click on this open. And suppose I open this part that is clip.repair. Select this part and open. In the topology, select mixed option and click on the shaded geometry. Now in this geometry, if I zoom in onto this, hold down the control key. Rotate the roller of the mouse, I zoom on to this. We can see red color edges are highlighting. We have red color, green color, yellow color. So now we will know what these colors specifies. So to understand this, we will have to go to some theoretical part. So this picture represents a better view of what are these type of edges. In hypermesh, we have four types of edges. Free edge, shared edge, T-junction edge and suppressed edges. First of all, free edges are represented by red color. These are associated with only one surface. We can see red edges are highlighting into this geometry. Then we have shared edges. Shared edges means these are associated with two surfaces and these two surfaces are equivalent. So shared edges are highlighted with green color. We can see we have shared edges and then we have suppressed edges. Suppressed edges are Surface edges are that are surfaces treated as combined into one surface. So we have two surfaces, we have combined them. So the intersection geometry is represented by blue color. And then we have yellow color that is T-junction edges. T-junction edges are shared by three or more surfaces. We can see in this geometry, we have this T-junction. This is shared by three surfaces. That is this vertical surface, horizontal surface and this surface of this rib. So now I go to this hypermesh and I go to this option of visualize. Click on this visualize option. In this visualize, it is showing a check on the free edges, shared, suppressed and non-manifold. So if I make a uncheck on this, it will hide free edges. Similarly, if I make a uncheck on the shared, it will hide the shared edges. So now our objective is to repair this geometry. So to repair the geometry, we have some options. First of all, let us zoom in onto this section of the part. I click close. Zoom in onto this section. We can see we have some extra surface into this. So we have to trim this extra surface. So to trim this surface, what we can do is I go to this geometry and then go to surface edit. So the reference in this we have a line. So I select trim with line. First of all, it is asking us to select a surface. So I select the surface and then we have to select the trimming line. Click on this line and select this curve as a line. That is a trimming line. The direction is normal to surface and that is the entire surface. Click on trim. Click return. Now this surface is trimmed into two surfaces. This is a separate surface. This second is a separate surface. And now we have to trim this outside surface. So we can go to delete option. In this we have to select the surface. Select the surface and click delete entity. So the extra part is removed. And now we have to delete these free edges. So to delete those free edges we, what we can do is I go to quick edit and go to the option of toggle edges. In the toggle edges we have to select the line and we have tall lenses. So tall lens represent the gap between these edges. Suppose I make this gap between the edges 0.1 press enter and now select the line. So I select this edge and now we can see this edge has turned into green. So now it is good. We don't want any free edge in the geometry. And then click return zoom out from this model we also have three edges onto this side so once again let us go to quick edit toggle and click on this edge and now it is highlighting an error that couldn't stitch 
the gap is 0.91 so the gap is going very higher suppose i make this toll lens 0.1 press enter and once again select this line and again it is showing the error that gap is 0.91 so it is much higher so we can not take the toll lens is close to 0.9 that is very high value so in this type of problems what we can do i select this no we have option that is filler surface we need to create a surface into this right now we can see that there is no surface so i select this filler surface select the edge and now we can see it has created a surface so in this way we can repair the geometry once again if i zoom in onto this section we can see surface is missing into this part see there is no surface so one one option is that we can use a filler surface select this edge and it will create a surface also one more option we can do is i select control plus z that is undo go to return we can make a surface into this to make the surface i go to the surfaces option and then from here we will select the i will select that is ruled surface select ruled surface in this ruled surface we have to select two parallel lines so this is the first line click on for the second line and this is the second line and select create so it has created a surface and then we can click return so once again the free edge is highlighting so we have to go to the quick edit toggle it 0.1 and click so now we have more free edges so i select this edges the toggle is 0.1 select this edge it is turning green it is fine so in this we have two edges and we have to convert them into a one single edge so select this edge and now in this way we can simplify the geometry once again select more edges like this select this edge and select these edges like this edge one by one so all the free edges has been converted okay there are still some more free edges so we we just have to select this select the edges insert the toll lens value and click okay so now we can see all the free edges has been repaired and now we have to repair the non manifold surfaces if i zoom in onto this section we can see the these edges are highlighting with this yellow color it means onto these edges we have some duplicate surfaces so when we do the meshing of duplicate surfaces the mesh become final on the duplicate surfaces and it will show higher load onto these duplicate surfaces it will show the wrong result that is why it is important to delete the duplicate surfaces we have a non manifold surface on here and also here so to repair this we have to select delete option surface and select the surface and click delete and now we can see it has turned into a green surface once again select the surface delete and now it is repaired click return so in this way we can repair the geometry also we have one more option hypermesh software automatically repair the geometry for this automatic repair we have a option that is auto cleanup so we just have to select auto cleanup and then we have to edit the parameters click on the edit parameter insert the parameter right now i am taking them as a default all the parameters we can select click okay and then we have edit criteria so we can select the criteria which we want right now i am taking them also as default and select okay so we have to select the geometry so to select this complete geometry what we can do hold down the shift key take the mouse into the left side hold down the left click of the mouse and drag the mouse drag it like this and select auto clean up so the software will automatically clean up the geometry it may take some time and then click return so in this way we can repair the geometry